Hello friends today we will learn the properties of the magnets through an interesting activity you know magnets are made from material like iron nickel cobalt steel rare earth metals and their alloys most of these material are denser than the water when we drop them in the water they would sink but if they were placed in the hollow container then they would float on the surface of the water because the average density of the magnets and the container is less than the density of the water to make this wonderful activity we need some ring or disc magnet bottle caps glue and bowl of water take a few magnets and arrange them in a such a way that they should repel to each other the similar poles of the all magnet should face to one side now apply glue to the bottle cap and stick the magnet to it give some time to dry the glue here you can also see the magnetic repulsion between the like poles of the magnets when we fix them in the bottle cap repulsion between the magnets depend on the strength of the magnets and the friction between base of the bottle cap and the table surface now take a bowl full of water and slowly place the magnet one by one in the water observe the pattern form in the water bowl when we place the single magnet in the water bowl it floats and settle in the bowl at one particular place here why the magnets and bottle cap float in the surface of the water because its average density is lower than the density of the water when we place the second magnet in the water bowl here you can see they are repelling to each other due to the magnetic repulsion and they go away from each other in the water bowl if we join the centers of the two magnets then you will get a line segment when you place a third magnet in the water bowl all the three magnets will repel each other and form a nice triangle if the strength of each magnet were the same then we would get a nice equilateral triangle if you place the fourth magnet in the water bowl you will get a square when you place the fifth magnet in the water bowl you will get square with the center and if you push the middle magnet sideways you will get a pentagon when you place the sixth magnet in the center of the bowl you will find the pentagon with a center here if you provide a little push to the central magnet then it goes to the periphery and form a nice hexagon if we put the seventh magnet in the water bowl we can create a hexagon with a center you can play with it and see the nice repulsion of the magnets in the water bowl if we push a central magnet at the periphery of the bowl then you will see a nice heptagon you can remove magnets one by one and see all the patterns that you have created here i hope you enjoyed this activity and that you can perform in your home and make a nice patterns of the magnets using the magnetic repulsion principle and learn the properties of the magnet thank you very much